they promised the biggest fireworks Sydney has ever seen. Quite a boast, but they succeeded. There was even friendly fire from warships in the harbour. This the finale to a nautical extravaganza. The day began with the arrival of Prince Harry, a quick two-day visit to Australia, but one that's been highly anticipated. More than at home in military circles, Harry hasn't put a foot wrong, representing his grandmother at this naval celebration. In Sydney's stunning harbour, the Royal Australian Navy is showing off its fleet. Nearly 40 warships from 17 nations with 8,000 sailors have joined this once-in-a-lifetime event. Number one gun! A 100-gun salute announced the start of Australia's fleet review. Exactly a century since Sydney welcomed its first warships into the harbour, modern-day ships lined up for inspection. It's Prince Harry's first official trip down under. He's currently on HMAS Lewin over here, watching as Australia's finest warships glide by. Hundreds of thousands gathered by Sydney's iconic landmarks to watch the event. I cannot fault this. It, it is amazing. I'm just so glad we came. It's just purely coincidental. I'm just so lucky. <laughs> After changing out of uniform, Harry got to meet some of those who'd been standing out in the sunshine for hours to glimpse the prince. Then it was back across the harbour to attend a private function held by the new Prime Minister of Australia, Tony Abbott. Harry particularly enjoying meeting Mr Abbott's daughters. Uh, prince Harry, I regret to say that not every Australian is a monarchist, but today everyone feels like a monarchist. <laughs> 60 aircraft joined in the display of military hardware, the harbour providing the perfect backdrop. The royal seal of approval only adding to the sense of occasion. A tremendous amount of pride for us as a Navy um, to have him here and of course, you know, made even better by the Australian public seeing it as well. Fantastic. A day which ended with this princely display. A proud navy and a proud nation making itself heard. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.